Hi, Abigail. This is Dr. Don. I want to review your last problem in M3A1 because you have some, some mistakes with it. Let me show you something that you might want to try. I want to expose the formulas that you've used over here in the cells in D1 so I can check them. I'm going to click in that first cell, click equal, and then start typing F-O-R-M, formula text. I'm going to double click that to enter it. And we need to give it the cell reference of the cell we want to look at the formula for. So I'm going to click right there adjacent to it and then click enter. And it shows me the formula that's in that cell. Now I'm going to just take that and drag it down here for those five cells. And you can see we've got the formulas in the first four. And of course the NA tells us that's not a formula. That's just 150 which you entered in there. I've noticed on some of your other work that you, you aren't really paying an, enough attention to the punctuation, if you will, in these formulas. Remember on your first submittal, you made a typo in these first three. You corrected that, but you didn't correct the typo in this one. See, it's an A2 comma 50,001. Of course, there's only 5,001 rows in our data, but it should work if you put the colon in there. I'm going to click in that cell go up there, backspace over your comma, hit the shift and hit the colon, and now it works. We've got the count in there, which we want. So be very careful when you're doing these things to make sure that you're getting punctuation and use that formula text to help you see what you've done in these cells. Okay, now to the histogram itself, you did a good job of setting up the lower limits. Did that just right? Upper limits, you did it just right too, but if you notice on the 30th bin, you've got zero for the upper limit. And the reason for that is, remember, this formula depends on this cell, and you don't have a value there. So what you need to do is click back there, drag it down one more to get one more lower limit, and of course, and that gives you the upper limit for the 30th bin. Now you've got what you need to use a data analysis. You, you went in here and you tried to create a new set of uppers, and I don't know what you did there, and I don't know what you did to get these, but they're, they're not correct. So let's just go back, and we're going to go to Data, Data Analysis. We're going to go to Histogram. I'm going to click OK, and we need to get our data in there. I'm going to delete the old data out of there. Okay, now I'm going to click in there, get the input range, and I'm going to go over here to A2. And one way you can get to the bottom of a long set of data is to go to Control Shift Down Arrow, and it takes you down to the bottom. Now, it's a little more difficult to get back up. There are some con control keys, but I find a lot of students in the first learning will mess that up. So I'm just going to go over here and drag my cursor back to the top. That way I don't mess up my range. I'm going to click on my bin range. And then I'm going to go over here and select these upper limits. They work just fine. And we're going to go down to the last upper limit for bin 30. And that gives me the range that I need. I don't have labels in there. I'm going to uncheck that. And my output range, I'm going to use that S2. I've got the cumulative percentage checked and the chart output checked, and I'm going to click OK. And there we get our data, and we've got the beginnings of the uh, histogram. And it's pretty well done, except remember there's no spaces. So again, click on one of the bars, right click, whoop, right click, format data series. And then we go over here and get rid of that gap. I'm going to go here to the paint bucket and border. And I want to change that border to black so it shows up so I can see my individual ones. And then I'm going to just cl close that out. And that's got the histogram pretty well done. Of course, you need to give it a better name. But overall, that is, is pretty doggone complete on the histogram. So I'm going to stop here in the histogram. The next part, we'll talk about these empirical counts and how to get those correct. Hope this helps.